stream now and we'll wait for okay oh frosty started talking already anyhow welcome back to winter and um, yeah. we will hopefully be able to uh, carry on with our winter vocabulary once we've gathered um, traum so let's offer traum a teleport and Marco seems to have also gone off the grid. Yeah. Hello, Traum. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. We might still be waiting. We, we might still waiting to get teleported. Yeah, it's it's Hello. okay. I've I've teleported you both. Okay, no worries. Ooh. Okay, so last yeah. week we looked at skating vocabulary and this week we're going to go and review um, the two other vocabulary challenges we had. Um, Tram, could you mute because we've got feedback. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to look at the other, the two other vocabulary challenges. Can anybody remember what they were? We have spoke, we spoke, we spoke about ice Ice, ice, skates. ice skating was last week, yes. And there were two <laughs> other vocabulary challenges whilst I was away related to winter. Uh, and to winter? Hmm. Any ideas? One was a sport, one was just being sensible. Ice hockey? Not ice hockey, no. <laughs> We did talk about ice hockey last week because that's one of the sports. Uh, but in more of a more of a sport you might do. Yeah, it's a bit like Christmas wrapping. Wrapping. We rapping. did do the wrapping, yeah. But um, we're not okay. going to do that one now. We did. Tram, what do you like doing in winter when it's snowing? I like to go or to do cross and ski. Yeah. No, okay. We'd call it, it cross country skiing. Cross yes, that's country the one. I skiing. I was just thinking of skiing in general. Okay. So if you'd all like to go to the ski um, lift, the top of the ski lift. Okay. Can you remember where it is? Can you see where it might be? Oh, trams off and running. Okay, follow Traum. <laughs> uh. Over the cliff. <laughs> it's like lemmings. Are you okay, Shiny? Can you move? Okay, follow me, Shiny. Okay, so up the um, steps. I'm hoping they all made it here. And there's Traum. And Traum's got her skis on already. <laughs> I'm impressed, Trow. Thank you. Okay, so there's the vocabulary we covered. And in the same way as last week you tried on skates, you'll notice that there are some blue skis and some red skis. And you can basically click on the skis and they'll give you a set of skis and ski poles. Now the vocabulary, if you didn't do the actual challenge, click on the picture and it will give you the key as well okay but um we'll need you to put your boots and your skis on uh, for us to go skiing okay And you can choose whether you want red skis or blue skis. <laughs> I 
And don't forget, you'll need the left hand and right hand ski poles too. And the ski AO. Ah, okay, Monique. Okay, well, you can click on the picture and it will give you all the vocabulary. All right. Uh, Lena, I, I accepted your uh, uh, mm. when you what you shared with us, but what I, I can't find it now in in uh, in my uh, no in my not in my inventory. Um, what did I share with you? Uh, <laughs> uh, was was it uh, very pure? I don't know. Uh, you mean the, I accept. Uh, you mean the skis? Skis, I accept. I don't know. Okay, yeah, because, okay, when, when it says I shared with you, I thought you meant I'd sent you something. That's to me sharing. The other thing is just you click. Okay, yes. you've, Yeah, you've got the skis. Okay, just go into your inventory and search for. I don't have it. Male ski. Okay, so male ski. Male ski. Oh, okay. My, male ice skates, I have no... No, male ski. You clicked on the um, the skis here, have you? You clicked on the... Yes, ice I ice accept. Ice. I accept. Yeah. And Monique, have you? I don't have the skis. Yeah, have you clicked on the skis here to... Uh, me? It should... No? No. Try the blue ones in the corner here. Okay. Yep, you should okay. see it. And click on buy. Don't click on wear clothing now. No, okay. okay. You should to buy all of these items. Don't to uncheck something right now to no, buy all no, you of just, them. You just take them all and then get rid of the ones you don't want from your inventory, okay? Okay. Otherwise, I'd have to set up one for men, one for women, one for left ski, one for right ski. It's better just to take the whole, it's what we call a fat pack. <laughs> Everything, basically. Okay. That's hard. Just see what's happening here. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Some of the textures have gone out of the ski lift for some reason. Oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, so well done, Monique. Yay! And don't forget to wear the animation overrider, okay? okay, and the alpha layer. At the moment, if you look at the recording later, you'll see you're wearing um, ski boots, but your bare foot is showing through. Yeah. Okay, that's what the... I just have the alpha. Yeah, the alpha basically hides, hides it all. So I think Marco's getting there. Okay, and again, don't forget to wear the alpha layer, Marco. And you might want to take off a couple of your shoes that you're wearing because you got <laughs> you don't want to have too many shoes on. Okay, that looks like it's working. It takes time, but now it's okay. Yep, yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, now yes. it's okay. It's script, so it needs to run. And then let's have a look what's uh, <laughs> happening. <laughs> let's see and. Shiny, you look really funny with your long dress and a pair of skis on. That's really sweet. Okay. For some reason, Trams decided to wear a helmet. <laughs> yes. Full face helmet. <laughs> I like it. It's a bit weird, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's 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 the first for me. I have to say. Okay, you've got one ski on, Marco, but you're missing the left ski. Okay, so you've got your right ski on, 
but you ha you're not wearing your left ski. I don't think. No, you're not wearing your left ski. And don't forget the animation overrider too. Okay, now I wish I could click on a button and take you all down on the ski lift, but the ski lift is broken. So we're going to have to ski down. Uh, and I'm very brave. I'm just going to leap off the edge here when Marco's got his skis on. Excellent. So Marco, try moving. Let's see if your animation overrider is on. And you'll know your animation overrider is on because you won't be walking. Okay. <laughs> so on the stream, you'll see the animation overrider. It's very much like the skating one, but it's got ski AO instead. So find ski AO in your inventory. Literally ski AO and wear it. And that will animate your avatar as if it's skiing. But it should be. Have you have you got it? Can you see it, Marco? I I have like a shortcut like icon uh, invite uh, invite ball ski io uh, above the uh, I heard uh, person who is king. I don't know how to. Do you have the same? Yeah, uh, and you can see that in the bottom right yeah. of your screen, yeah? And is the little person skiing green or grey? Green, green. Green, okay, then try moving now. Okay. Oh. I, 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 okay. I, I let's, skate. Let's jump, let's jump over the, yeah, not the skating one, the skiing one. You shouldn't be skating. But I, I, I move, uh, yes, like skiing. I, I, my movement, I suppose. Could okay. you... Okay, let, let's see what... Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Good, good, okay. good. Okay, everybody over the edge. Whee! Lin, is there any shortcut? Uh, any... Uh, using keyboard. Can we use keyboard instead of just... It, what do you mean by can we use keyboard? If you just use the arrows oh. on the keyboard to move. Okay. Yeah. Is there like a page up or page down, like there uh, is, from yes. ice skating? In the same way there was oh. for ice skating. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Traum, it looks like you're walking, so you need to have your animation overrider on. Shiny, do you want to jump down? Yay, well done. Well done, Marco. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Yes? I'm sorry. I switched on uh, the the buttons key A O, mm -hmm. and then I get uh, uh, some opportunities as help load, uh, sit uh, on and off walks, reset settings, but it's not the right ones. Am I right? Um, let me show you what you should be seeing. Hang on, let me show you on uh... this one. Oh, I got it. I have it. Have you got it? Excellent. Good. It should yes. basically it. it should just be green. The little person skiing should be showing green. Okay. Now it is green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And Ooh. oh, you look like you've got your skiing gear, gear on now, Monique. Excellent. Here comes <laughs> Shiny. She's taking the stairs. <laughs> Go on, Shiny. Ski down the steps. Oh, I thought you were going to ski. Che flying is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny prefers ski jumping. Yeah, absolutely. So, Shiny, again, you're walking, so you need to have your ski animation overrider on. Okay. Um, so, this let me give tool. you... Let me give you the ski... I am on a ski tour. Okay, so there's the stream, and what you should see, um, Shiny, if you watch the stream, is down in the bottom right, you should see your ski animation overrider. And you can find it in your inventory under ski. And then capital A, capital O. Can you see it, Shiny? 
have you got it on? Okay. Mm, can you hear me, Shiny? I'm not sure Shiny can hear me. Shiny! Yes, okay, good. Um, can you see the ski animation overrider in the bottom right of your viewer? Yes, it's a HUD. Um, it's a HUD is a heads-up display. Okay. Must be green. Yep, it has to be green. That means you can switch it off, basically. So if you switch it off, you'll start walking. Whack, 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 whack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you've ever tried to walk in skis. It's really difficult, isn't it, Traum? Yeah, it is. And it hurts as well. <laughs> it's much easier to walk in skates, in ice skates, than it is to walk in skis. How are you doing, Shiny? Do you want to try skiing now, Shiny? Can you move? Well, I... I, I cannot check myself, so... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, it might be, again, that because you've got problems with your connection, um, you won't be able to see it. So we'll just pretend that you can. At the moment, you're still walking, though. Um, but um, if that's the case, then we'll just continue anyway. Okay. So, Traum, you mentioned you go cross-country skiing. And like this in skating last week, there are different kinds of skiing. Okay. Can you think of any? Any in particular? Uh, uh, yes, as, as mentioned, the uh, cross-country skiing, uh, you uh, slide uh on a on a surface on a snow surface that is even also mostly it is even and when i go uh ski in the alps then i can uh, uh ride uh, down a hill or a slope take uh, two of them then uh, yes a ski tour this is the one uh, where i walk uh, a hill up not down. Later, I I change my clothes because I'm sweating, uh, probably, and then I go skiing and uh, ride down the hill. Okay. Uh, three, three ones, and I can't uh, think of more at the moment. Okay, well, when you go downhill, cross-country skiing tends to be, as you said, on the flat and along fixed paths. In fact, um, cross-country skiers hate walkers because if we walk in the paths, it makes it more difficult for them to do their cross-country skiing. Yes. Mm. yes. One, one with a track. It has two tracks. It makes um, a special machine. Mm -hmm. Or beside, there is a, a flat maybe uh, two and a half meter uh, uh, path track path hmm. path or track yes and is that tracks. for walkers a, no no oh no this is a special kind of uh, oh. uh, skiing you have to to put your um, your legs left and right you you slide um, it's another movement as if you would um, do the normal way because okay. the other one is like walking with uh, large steps and the other one is uh, it's a kind as a kind of, of uh, uh, cross-country skiing it's it's not so good for for the body 
but uh, you can you, you can change from the track to the other one okay cool. it's a test for a flat okay without any drugs okay okay well we, we we've called it the one more power and I okay yeah I, I don't know what we call that one i mean i i, I just think of them as cross-country skiing as in on the flat and then you have downhill skiing yeah which sounds silly but <laughs> literally downhill skiing and there's also slalom you know what i mean by slalom yes i know what you mean but you also have to go down yes downhill. that's right you but downhill skiing to tends to be like a race um you know who gets to the bottom fastest slalom there's a little bit more skill involved now we're going to try slaloming down through the poles okay so um oh marco who's alberto tomba is he a downhill skier no i think that uh, uh he was a champion in the slalom but oh. i prefer I prefer watching ski jumps. I enjoy, especially ah, four heels. Yeah, because there's also ski jumping, and um, in the UK, I mean, we don't have many famous skiers in the UK, um, and it's not a. It, skiing is more of a holiday sport. It's an expensive sport. Um, the royal family do it. They go to all the very expensive resorts, etc. And they're always filmed and photographed on the slopes. So what, where, we have, where we are today, we'd say we're um, on the ski slope. Okay, so last week we were down on the ice skating rink, or as I said, the frozen pond. <laughs> and today we're on the slopes. We're hitting the slopes to hit the slopes. Thank you, Marco. Okay, and slalom, it means to ski round poles. And the idea is you go between the poles, you're not supposed to hit the poles, uh, and you're meant to do it in as quick a time as possible. But um, we haven't actually got any slalom poles here. So what I thought we could do, I think Monique's well ahead of us all. I hope she hasn't got lost. Monique, where are you? Uh, oh, there you well are. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the, uh, the vocabulary. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll come back to that in a bit. But I thought we could do some slaloming first. So what I suggest okay. is we start up here. And the idea is you go to the left and then to the right of each of these poles as we ski down. So just follow me. Yay! Woo! Uh, try not to hit Can I go? Can I go faster? <laughs> Um, if oh you gosh. hit run, yes. If you hit run, you Big can. <laughs> I didn't mean to fly. <laughs> That's cheating. Ah, no! Monique's beating me. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> good job, good job. Here comes, here comes uh, Trial Man Shiny's having to walk. Oh, Shiny, do look at the stream when we're finished because it's very funny. Oh, bless you, bless you. One of these days we're going to get you um, sorted, I'm sure. Okay, so now, as um, Marco mentioned, um, there's also ski jumping. And to ski jump, you've literally got to jump off a very high mound of snow. Um, and sometimes they, these, oh, you look like you've broken both legs there, Monique. Sometimes the skiers, yeah. <laughs> they jump off. It looks like a slide. Now, I tried to find a slide big enough, but I just didn't have time. Um, so I thought, okay, we can try. So what I want you to do is ski up. Okay. And then from here, ski down. And when you hit the edge, click on page up. Let's see if it works. So ski down. 
Go down. And click what? Hit the edge. Click on page up. Okay. Oh, no, I'm scared. You see, I didn't mean to fly. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. Where are you? Okay, I did it. <laughs> you did it. Well done. <laughs> You're a natural. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> so, actually, this is my first time. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Excellent. Now, there's a TV program in the UK called Ski, Sun Ski on Sunday or Ski Sunday. And um, my friends watch it because they are avid. Yay, I did it. They're avid skiers. Uh, but as I say, when it comes to ski, famous skiers, oh, sorry, shiny, we're very sadly lacking. However, there was one famous skier in the UK, and recently they made a film about Woo! him. Whoa, nice one, Monique. I think I caught that on film as well. Excellent. <laughs> I'm not sure where Marco's gone. Oh, no, Marco's doing the same as me. He's flying. <laughs> Okay, so there was a very famous skier in the UK. <sighs> famous or notorious? Anyway, um, any idea what his name was? Can anybody guess what his name was? He actually featured in the Olympics. Was it Eddie? Yes, Eddie. Eddie the Eagle. Ah, Eddie the Eagle? Yeah. Egg. I saw the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie yeah. the Eagle Edwards. <laughs> you seen the mm -hmm. movie? Excellent. Good, good, good. Have you heard of him, Marco, or Shiny? No. Okay, well, he was, he was a very interesting, well, he still is, actually. He's not dead. Um, he was a British skier, and he, he really did want to become an Olympic skier uh, in a country where there's very little snow. <laughs> um, and he decided he wanted to represent Great Britain in ski jumping. Now, skiing is one thing. Ski jumping, as I say, I don't know if you've ever seen a ski jump um, but it's very high, it's quite dangerous, you have to know what you're doing. And um, the ski establishment, let's put it this way, they weren't that keen on him doing this or representing Great Britain because he wasn't very good, <laughs> but he was passionate. Uh, exactly, Monique, determined. Okay, and so he decided that he would become um yeah a ski jumper in the olympics and he did it and you can see in the 1988 winter olympics he competed and finished last in the 70 meter and 90 meter events <laughs> but he did it <laughs> and actually he tried with another uh in another um categories but I, yeah i don't know I, I think that the movie is pretty accurate in that uh, respect because when i saw that i mean that was his dream i mean since he was a child and he tried with several or some um uh yeah categories but i think the last one uh, with uh, the one that he uh, he won or he could uh, participate uh, was uh, able because no one else was competing in that category exactly. so he had a, a chance to do that because that uh yeah so i don't know but i love i love the, the movie was so nice i, I really like it lovely and also um mm -hmm. sadly that sort of thing couldn't happen anymore because they changed the rules and the changing the rules um the international olympic committee um, brought in this rule that says Olympic hopefuls have to compete in international events and be placed in the top 30 percent percent uh, or the top 50 competitors before they are allowed to represent the country which is a shame because it meant the next time he tried to get into the 1992 Winter Olympics and he failed to qualify um, but um, he uh, <laughs> he's a character Okay, he is a character. And if you want a nice feel good, I would say it's a feel good film. Would you agree, Monique? What we call a feel good uh, film. 
then yes um, yeah. <laughs> i agree <laughs> a feel good a nice feel good film then watch eddie the eagle um the movie and um i'm just trying to find it um it was last year so i don't i don't think you'll find it on um the internet but you might be able to find it on netflix or something like that uh, but uh, it's it's a lovely film it really is and it's got some really really funny moments <laughs> mm, definitely <laughs> on top of the car <laughs> <laughs> I, you and know, it's got and, Hugh uh, but I think, come on, it's got Hugh Jackman. I, oh my well. God, I love, I, <laughs> I love that actor. He he acts, I mean, yeah, he's very nice. But also, um, I, I I can see that there is a difference when someone wants to be just like a an Olympic athlete, or you want to be a sportman, or you know, like a normal. I want to practice this, uh, for example, any sport. So there is a big difference. I mean, they have to work very hard in order to to compete uh, in uh, in any Olympic games. So it's. It's, it's different, I think, the, the feeling and what they feel inside, you know, and it was like a really, um, so I was, when I was watching the, the film, I, was, I, I started just to think, oh my gosh, come on, you can do it, <laughs> you know? because I didn't know anything about the story, so I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, but poor, poor guy, oh my god, he's so naive, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's uh, the kind of movie that uh, makes me or just uh, motivate me just I don't know I that was so nice so highly yeah, it was a bit of a spoiler <laughs> for me that I knew the story so there was no point where I was thinking go on you can do it you'll win because it's not like silent <laughs> was it silent running or cold running there's there's another film about the Jamaican bobsleigh team which is actually good fun uh -huh. as well um, <laughs> Cool runnings, cool runnings. Um, that's also yeah. well worth watching. But um, yeah, there's no, there's not going to be any fun um, and sort of happy. Well, it is a happy ending in a way because he 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 achieved his dream. Uh, but I think part of what made the film good for me is the the way it portrayed that snobbery that exists in England, in the UK, in such things, you know, this sort of looking down on people because they're not the top of their game. They're not, you know, they're not well known. They're not famous. They're not um, like, who do you think you are kind of thing. And that is very, very much being part of the UK, UK society. You have to put up with that kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway it's a good film i recommend it so what we're wearing today um what we've got on our feet of course is the skis but to hold the skis on you have ski boots yeah and then we've got the poles you have to have a left pole and a right pole for your hands to balance to help you balance okay now when i look at the challenge there were other things you had to be wearing, which we're not wearing at the moment. One was gloves. And again, gloves are gloves. But then we get into the form and function again. So we would call them ski gloves. They're bigger and thicker and heavier than um, normal gloves. OK, so you've got ski gloves. Um, you've got the, the actual skis. You've got the ski jacket. Okay, which I think, Monique, you're wearing a ski jacket, and I think, Marco, yeah, that could be a ski jacket, I guess. <coughs> Is there anything else? For, um, on the boots, of course, we have the bindings. Um, you don't call them laces. They're actually straps that keep your feet in the boots. It's really important. <coughs> <coughs> No scarf. Why not, Traum? Do you not wear a scarf? No, it's not. <coughs> no, no, no. It's it's out. It's completely out, and it's dangerous. You can you can put your scarf uh, uh, in between the door for the uh, cabin for the uh, transport. <coughs> that's that's dangerous. Yeah, it's not good. It's um, just a bad skier is does wear a scarf. Oh dear, that might, that must make. Yes. I I have to wear a scarf because if my neck gets cold, I hate it. So I'm just trying to see: have any of us got a scarf on? 
Um, well, I and instructively say take it off. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. Ah. Yes. You see, I wouldn't consider it dangerous. Yes, okay, you could get it stuck, but um, yeah. So what? <laughs> I don't want a cold neck. <laughs> No, they, they, they invented something different. It's, it's like, um, um... I'm going to wear a scarf. Um, a neck warmer, it's possible, Shiny. It's, it's just around your neck, but not longer. It doesn't hang down. I'm going to annoy <laughs> Traum now. If you go skiing or to the in, to the Alps, let me know. I'll let you know what's in, what's important to wear, and what not. Okay. So, do you think I'd get into trouble for wearing this scarf? When you go skiing, yes, Lynn. Oh, Even yeah. a, um, <laughs> a chairlift, you could, you could, uh, your scarf could stick uh, in between the the chair, for example, and uh -huh. you can't go uh -huh. off. What, the, what then? You have to go. It's too dangerous. No, it's it's a no go. And you won't see skier wearing a scarf. Gosh, I'm sure when I went <laughs> skiing that I, okay. I wore a scarf. I can't quite remember. I'd have to look at my old photos to see if I was wearing a scarf. But I can't believe I went anywhere in the snow without a scarf on. And I'm sure nobody ever told me to take it off if I was wearing it. So. Um... Ah, I'd never heard that before. I guess it's logical, but um, I'm going to wear it anyway. <laughs> Only because I hate being cold. I really do. I just hate being cold. So I'm going to make it nice and thick. <laughs> sorry, 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 Hermina. I've got to. I've got flu as well, remember. I've got to look after myself. There you go. <laughs> okay, but do you agree wearing skis, um, sorry, wearing um, ski boots is important, but ski boots are dangerous as well. I think they, they're the cause of most broken legs. You could lend me a back protector instead. What, people wear back protectors going skiing? Yes, this is when you fall, when you fall onto your back, then it doesn't hurt so much. Oh, okay. You wear it under oh, your okay. top and uh, between top and anorak. The one that you will see. It. So a little bit like you would for uh, motorbike, motorbike, um, motorcyclists would wear. Uh, so I, I don't know, I don't know, because the, the loops are pretty hard nowadays, because um, the, the snow from the snow guns, it's pretty hard. Okay. But at the moment we have enough snow and you will fall soft, softly. But in case we don't have much snow, so the snow gun will produce the snow and uh, it's so hard and it's really important to wear protector. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the helmet is of course very important. I can tell mm -hmm. from what you're wearing. <laughs> yes, I'm just trying to think if I've got a helmet I could put on, but I think the only helmet I've got is a firefighter's helmet, a diver's helmet, my space helmet of course, and I've got an Asterix and Obelix helmet somewhere. Um, but um, I haven't got a ski helmet or a canoeing helmet. <laughs> but I think you'd look very cool if you went skiing in a helmet like that, Traum. Maybe it's a new idea for the future to wear such kind of Absolutely. If it's good enough for the Apollo space mission, it's got to be good enough for skiing down a mountain. <laughs> So, can you think of anything else um, that you should wear when you're skiing? So, not a ski scarf or a scarf. Um, what about the top of your head? Not just a helmet, but something to keep your head warm. Uh, 
a hood. A hood? Where you also could cover your mouth. Yes. It's a, a, it's a pretty thin cotton cotton thingy, thingy link, um, where you can cover your head and when it is cold, it could cover your nose, the nostrils and the mouth. You can... You can ah, um, balaclava. But it's a thing one, a thing, a, a thing, a thing one. I, I, I have to look at it. Okay, well, I, I've put my hat on, um, which will keep my head warm, and it matches my scarf. Um, something to put on your ears. Yes, yeah, something to cover your ears. Earmuffs. That would be good. Do you know the motor race sportler? Wear it under the helmet. It's uh, a, a similar thing. Yeah, it's like a balaclava. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, this with the eyes is a bit strange. <laughs> it, it reminds me of a robber. <laughs> but uh, you can get different types of balaclava. You don't. You can have them with the eyes completely open, kind of thing, and the mouth covered. And yeah, there's different styles of balaclava. In general, in general, is the one I meant. Yeah, or you could just wear a ski mask. <laughs> a ski mask, yeah. Or a rubber. Rubbers used it also. Robber. Robber. R rubber. Rubber, yeah. Yeah, not a rubber. <laughs> it's like, what? What would you wear? <laughs> no, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> oh, Oscar wants to join us. Let's see if he wants to come into the world with us. But in ski jumping, they don't use poles. No. They just trust to... I suppose they would create more drag. And so they just trust to uh, gravity. <laughs> and they keep their body and their arms very flat. Now, believe it or not, in the UK, there's a TV show where celebrities get to go ski jumping. Um, don't ask me why any celebrity would want to do this, but they do it every year. Uh, now, is it called Celebrity Ski Jump? It's something as, as equally innocuous as that. Celebrity Ski Jump. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen this year, but um, it's all it's called The Jump. That's it. The Jump. Hello, Oscar. Okay, and um, it's seriously bizarre. The idea is that they learn to ski a bit and then they start to learn to jump. And then in the end, they do Hello, the big jump. Me? Hello, Oscar. Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Okay, I'm afraid you're a little underdressed. We're just talking about the equipment and clothing you wear when you're going skiing. I'm being told... Uh, Traum's told me off already for wearing a scarf. She says I'm dangerous, but at least I'm warm. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can see someone in bikini. In a bikini? Uh, <laughs> I think that might be shiny. <laughs> uh? <laughs> So, Oscar, if you would like to pick up some skis, um, let's yes, go course. back up. Yep, let's go back up to the top of the... Uh, if only it was this easy to ski up in real life. Um, actually, I want to run. Let's see, what run fly. Otherwise, Monique's going to beat me again. Would you mind, please, help me with this? I'm going to catch you That's up. That's my catch task you up. I'm today. Catch you up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Run, yeah, yeah. I'm run, right behind you. you. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind Ow! you. Ow! <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> okay. Oh, you just there beat you. me. You just beat me. <laughs> hey. Well done. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Avalanche. <laughs> We're going to come on to that yeah. next week. Okay, where are the other guys? Is it a trick or something? <laughs> no, no, there's nothing you can control. Sometimes, um, especially when you've got some kind of uh, script on, the, the whole world starts to judder. Um, 
and I, I've never figured it out. I just think earthquake, earthquake. So Marco's with us. Where's Oscar and Shiny and Traum? Okay, I don't know. We've lost them. Monique, have you started to unpack the presents? <laughs> Things and I'll just try <laughs> when I have time. I'll try just to make my my outfits. <laughs> oh, you see, I just uh, collapsed yeah. myself. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm under the snow. <laughs> help! Get out of there! <laughs> I would help if I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You can just uh, walk over you. <laughs> everybody, I don't know where they've all gone. Shiny's disappeared, Oscar's disappeared, Trump's oh. disappeared. They are um, a bit far from know. here. I don't know. Miles away. Where did they go? I think they went back. No, they didn't go back to the beginning. How odd. Maybe they've gone down to the uh, hut. No, trying to get warm. Okay, anyway, um, whilst they're trying to find us, <laughs> um, one of the answers in the vocabulary challenge was actually given by, it's shame April's not here because I wanted to ask her about it, but she wrote skateboard. And unfortunately, it's not correct because people don't use a skateboard when they're skiing. But I knew what she meant and a couple of you got it right. And it's a snowboard. Okay. Mm. Uh, snowboarding is almost as popular as skiing now, I think. And it's the same principle, but instead of having two skis, you have one snowboard. And um, it's almost like a skateboard, but you, you, you have attachments, you have your boots, and then you do all the downhill and the fancy... Um, sort of acrobatics that they like in snowboarding events. Now, I, I wanted to ask, ah, Traum, you found us. Well done. Hi. Hi, Shiny. You found us as well. Good. So, Oscar, if you go up the steps, you can pick up some skis. Just click on the blue skis in the hut above oh, yes. us. Okay. So, go up the stairs. And then just like the, ski, the skates last week, you attach a left and a right ski, a left and right ski pole, and the animation overrider. So it's the blue skis in the corner, okay, behind you. Yeah. I yeah. See. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, it wasn't a skateboard. It's a snowboard. Okay. So there was no. A skateboard has wheels, basically. And a snowboard just slides down the slow. Uh, has Traum ever been snowboarding? So Traum, have you ever tried it? No, never. Okay, what about your kids? Have they ever tried it? Nope. Sorry, Traum, have your kids ever tried snowboarding? Um... No, I think I think so. I can't remember. No, I think I don't think so. Okay, but you'll notice that the verb it's like skis and to ski, ice skates and to ice skate, snowboard and to snowboard. So we kind of take the item, um, the noun, and we turn it into the verb for the sport. <laughs> so you go snowboarding, and my nephew Sorry. goes snowboarding. Shall I go downstairs? Yep, you can either use the stairs or you can just jump off the edge. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, go on, go for it. I'll go. Yay! Call the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, Wait, that's go. it. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Uh, thank you. Okay, now if you look at the stream, um, let me give you the link and. 
it is a young person's sport. Uh, I mean, it was started basically as an alternative to skiing. I guess the first person to snowboard must have been quite a sight on the slopes um, because there's always that first person. There was the first person to strap skis to his feet or planks of wood and then uh, the first person that strapped one plank of wood to both feet became the first ever snowboarder. Don't know who it was but it's a huge sport now and um, it's the acrobatics that make me um, like enjoy watching it I would say. Okay so um, Oscar if you have a look at the stream and you look at the bottom right of my screen you'll see I'm wearing the animation overrider which you'll find in your inventory under ski AO and just like the skating animation overrider last week we've got the um, once you switch it on, once it's green, then you get the animation of skiing, like Monique's doing now. Okay, so instead of walking, you start skiing along. Okay. But that's what you need to see on your viewer is the ski AO. It's like a, an, a HUD heads up display that shows you that you've got the animation working. Okay, now you'll notice also that one of the things you wear when you're skiing, I mean I've got jeans on, that's, that's an absolutely stupid piece of clothing to wear when you're skiing. Normally you wear what we call ski pants. Now <laughs> I know that I always say to people that in the UK we call uh, what Americans call pants, we call trousers, but we make an exception for ski pants. Okay, they are ski pants with the word pants attached, and they're normally quite. Um, if you look what Trams wearing, yeah, they're good padded, warm ski pants. Okay, and um, I think again I'd be told off for wearing jeans skiing because there's no warmth in jeans at all. Shiny, I think you'd catch your death of cold. <laughs> that is what I mentioned before. Yes. <laughs> Shiny has um, a problem. She can't actually see herself to change her outfit. So she just has to turn up in her outfit each week, no matter what the weather's doing. <laughs> Luckily. Don't worry, she looks uh, uh, great. Yeah, exactly. She looks lovely. Okay, now the winter vocabulary. There are other things you can obviously wear when you're skiing. And one of them is the kind of underwear you wear when you're skiing. And at the moment in Germany, it's minus... In fact, across Europe at the moment, it's very, very cold. And at this moment in time in Germany, it's minus seven. Okay. Minus 16 where you are, Traum, really? Ooh. Okay, so what do we wear under our ski pants and under our jacket when it's that cold? Sorry, I cannot find the AO. Oh. To start the animation, okay. I can see the bottom, the toggle button at the bottom right corner, AO, but nothing else appear. appears. Are you wearing it? There's another. Uh, right now, yes. Okay. So there you must click be... on the little button here, the green. If it's grey, it should be green. I can see the button for the skate, skate menu. But I cannot see the one for the skin. Is that the same? No. It, no. Above that. And yeah, sorry, under that uh, button, you have another one. There's a button that says Ski AO, and under that, there should be another button with a picture of a skier on it. And that's the one you need to have that shows green. I'm doing something wrong because it doesn't appear. Okay. When I click on AO, a pop-up menu or window appears with 
that says new AO set. Okay, are you wearing it? But I cannot. Uh, uh, yes, 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 I'm wearing it. Inventory, let me see. Ice, no, ice skating. Oh, ah, no, ice no, skating. no, you don't want the ice skating one. Okay, so detach uh, that. But in the inventory, in blue skis, crossed. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You got it? Yes, that's it. Yay! Thank good, you. Good, good. You're welcome. There's always a reason. You know, you just have to work your way through it. Green button. That's it. It should be green. Um, when it's green, it's on. When it's grey, it's off. So if you put it to grey, you switch it off, you'll just walk normally. <laughs> It looks quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not so how you know. Now in it. Spain, maybe in Germany it's not that strange, but here in Spain, in the on the east coast, it's snowing on the uh, beach sand. Yeah, we were talking about this yesterday in a session, and I was sharing some of the photographs in the news of Mallorca with people building snowmen on the beach. It's so funny. I feel very sorry for the people who've gone there on holiday for sunshine. Oh, I just fell in the snow again. <laughs> Go up. <laughs> Avalanche. I can. Oh, Hang on, there you go. Actually, it's not funny. So next, anyhow, we've run out of time this week. Enjoy skiing around. Next week, what we're going to do is we're actually going to Strangely, we're going to look at some of the dangers of this lovely um, landscape. I mean, it is beautiful. I love snow. I love winter. Uh, I even like the cold when it's like today. It's sunny outside, but there are dangers associated with it. And uh, so we're going to discuss that next week. OK, I'll be in TGIF in uh, 20 minutes. Um, so maybe see you there. It will be a short TGIF this week. I have to leave at five o'clock. I've got a teacher's meeting. But um, if somebody wants to take over from me in TGIF, Marco or Monique, if you're coming, um, let me know and you can just take over and run it till the end of the session. Otherwise, it would just be a half hour session. OK. OK, so sorry, okay. we've got to go, Oscar. Um, but as I say, I've got a bit of a full day today, but enjoy skiing and uh, try your little fancy what? moves. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'll see you next week, I hope. OK. <laughs> and next week, as I say, we're going to discuss some of the dangers uh, to do with this kind of weather. All right. And what we can do to protect ourselves, maybe. And snowballs as well. Uh, yes, and a snowball fight. <laughs> Yay! I'll have more time next week. I'll have more time next That's week. That's why I call revenge. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice weekend. You too. You too, Oscar. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> Set of skis and ski poles. Now, the vocabulary, if you didn't do the actual challenge, click on the picture and it will give you the key as well. OK, but um, we'll need you to put your boots and your skis on uh, for us to go skiing. OK. And you can choose whether you want red skis or blue skis. <laughs> and don't forget, you'll need the left hand and right hand ski poles too and the ski AO ah okay Monique okay well you can click on the picture and it will give you all the vocabulary all right 
Uh, Lean, I, I accepted your... Uh, uh, mm. When you... What you shared with us, but... What... I, I can't find it now in... In, uh, in, in my... Uh, no, in my not... In my inventory. Um... What did I share with you? Uh... <laughs> Uh, was was it a uh, very pure? I don't know. Uh, you mean, the, I accept. Uh, you mean the skis? Skis, I accept. I don't okay, know. yeah, because okay, when when it says I shared with you, I thought you meant I'd sent you something. That's to me sharing. The other team now, and we'll wait for. Okay. Oh, Frosty started talking already. Anyhow, welcome back to winter, and. Um, yeah. We will hopefully be able to uh, carry on with our winter vocabulary once we've gathered um, Traum. So let's offer Traum a teleport. And Marco seems to have also gone off the grid. Yeah. Hello, Traum. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. We might still be waiting. We might still be waiting. To get teleported. Yeah, it's it's I okay. Like. I've I've teleported you both. Okay, no worries. No worries. Ooh. Okay, so last yeah. week we looked at skating vocabulary, and this week we're going to go week. and review um, the two other, the two other vocabulary other. challenges we had. Um, Tram, could you mute? Because we've got feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to look at the other, the two other vocabulary challenges. Can anybody remember what they were? We have spoke, we spoke, we spoke about ice, ice, ice skates. Ice skating was last week, yes. And there were two <laughs> other vocabulary challenges whilst I was away related to winter. Related to winter. Uh, and to winter. Any ideas? One was a sport, one was just being sensible. Ice hockey? Not ice hockey, no. <laughs> we did talk about ice hockey last week because that's one of the sports. Uh, but in more, of a, more of a sport Christmas. you might do. Yeah, it's a bit like Christmas that. Christmas wrapping? wrapping? We wrapping. did do the wrapping, yeah. But um, we're not okay. going to do that one now. We did... Tram, what do you like doing in winter when it's snowing? I like to go or to do cross skiing. Yeah, skiing okay, we'd call it? it cross country skiing. Cross yes, that's country the one I was skiing. Going to say. I was just thinking of skiing in general, okay? So if you'd all like to go to the ski um, lift, lift, the top of the ski lift, okay? Can you remember where it is? Can you see where it might be? Oh, Traum's off and running. Okay, follow Traum. <laughs> uh. Over the cliff. <laughs> it's like lemmings. Are you okay, Shiny? Can you move? Okay, follow me, Shiny. Okay, so up the um, steps. I'm hoping they all made it here. And there's Tram. And Tram's got her skis on already. <laughs> I'm impressed, Tram. Thank you. Okay, so there's the vocabulary we covered. And in the same way as last week you tried on skates, you'll notice that there are some blue skis and some red skis. And you can basically click on the skis and they'll give you a... Oh, well, doesn't matter. Okay, so 
Well done, Monique. Yay. And don't forget to wear the animation overrider. Okay. okay. And the alpha layer. At the moment, if you look at the recording later, you'll see you're wearing um, ski boots, but your bare foot is showing through. Yeah. Okay. That's what the. I just uh, have the alpha. Yeah. The alpha basically hides hides it all. So I think Marco's getting there. Okay. And again, don't forget to wear the alpha layer, Marco. And you might want to take off a couple of your shoes that you're wearing because you got <laughs> you don't have too many shoes on. Okay. That looks like it's working. It takes time, but now it's okay. Yep. Yeah, it yeah, does. No, yes. it's, okay. it's script, so it needs to run. And then let's have a look what's uh, <laughs> happening. <laughs> let's see. And Shiny, you look really funny with your long dress and a pair of skis on. That's really sweet. Okay. For some reason, Trams decided to wear a helmet. <laughs> yes. Full face helmet. Why did I have a I like it. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, that's 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 the first for me. I have to say. Okay, you've got one ski on, Marco, but you're missing the left ski. Okay, so you've got your right ski on, but you ha you're not wearing your left ski. I don't think. No, you're not wearing your left ski. And don't forget the animation overrider too. Okay, now I wish I could click on a button and take you all down on the ski lift. The thing is just you click. Okay, yes. you, yeah, you've got the skis. Okay, just go into your inventory and search for... I don't have it. Male ski. Okay, so male ski. Male ski. Oh, okay. My, male ice skates. I have no... No, male ski. You clicked on the um, the skis here, have you? You clicked on the... Animal. Yes, I accept. I accept. Yeah. And Monique, have you? I don't have a skis. Yeah, have you clicked on the skis here? To... Uh, okay. It should... No? No. Try the blue ones in the corner here. Okay. Yep, you should okay. see it. And click on buy. Don't click on wear clothing now. Buy. No, okay. okay. You should to buy all of these items. Don't to uncheck something right now to no, buy all no, you of just, them. You just take them all and then get rid of the ones you don't want from your inventory, okay? Okay. Otherwise, I'd have to set up one for men, one for women, one for left ski, one for right ski. It's better just to take the whole, it's what we call a fat pack. <laughs> Everything, basically. Okay. That's hard. Just see what's happening here. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Some of the textures have gone out of the ski lift for some reason. <laughs> 